amazing. You've come so far. How do you feel? Good. Good. Is that it? I feel good when I have a sandwich. You've made this entire flower bed from nothing. And, and you've made the prison a nice place for people for decades to come. Yeah, good. Right, well, I've made the arrangements. And um, when you come out next month, we'll get you down south for the, for the diagnosis. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Why maybe? How much is it again? Oh, we'll cover... How much though? Well, it's usually about two grand. But we can get it for £250. Nah. Why not? Just a waste of money. No. Don't say that. It's true though. Look, um, getting a proper diagnosis means you'll, you get some support when you're living alone when you leave. And if anything does happen, then it gives you protection in the court too. So, you know, you, you won't get sent back here. Nah. What's brought this on? Is there a grade four I can do? You've done all the grades. You're a qualified bricklayer. Something else then? Kate, you don't have the time. You're leaving. What if I want to do something else? But why? I just want it. Okay, look, you're getting worked up. Should we, should we do our breathing, yeah? Yeah, come on. Sorry. It's okay. You don't need to say sorry. All you need is what? Someone who knows my condition. Be my external brain. Tell me when I'm getting angry and help me calm down. Exactly, which is why a formal diagnosis is so important. You can only act on what you know. Yeah. Okay. Look, um, are you ready for us to figure out why you're getting upset? So, when you think about leaving, do you feel happy or sad? I don't know. Okay, maybe a bit of both, yeah? Well, that, that is perfectly normal. Are you worried about uh, seeing your family again? Living alone? Maybe. Getting a job? Not gonna happen, is it? Yeah, of course it is. Look at that flower bed. I want one of those in my garden, thank you. But no one's gonna want me. That's not true. It is. I can't think properly. I can't act properly. I keep taking stuff. I'm not normal, am I? No, you've got to stop saying that about yourself. You 
true. Always has been. You have come so far. When I first met you, you were fighting, you were drinking, you had no idea how to manage your condition. But now you've got a trade. You've been mentoring. Anyone would be lucky to have you. But no one's going to want an ex-con, with or without this condition. Do you know what I tell myself? What's done was always going to happen. You can't make the right decision for a year ago, a month ago, a week ago. All you can do is make the right decision today. What if I'm gonna stay in here? I do get it. You have had a hard time out there. But we've done some brilliant work together in here, haven't we? And now you're in recovery. And, and you have helped so many other people do the same. It makes sense here. Yeah, I know. But I wonder, why was it that you wanted to get a trade? I don't know. Do you remember what you said to me when you started the recovery program? Do you remember? I want to start a family. And what steps did we say that you needed to take to achieve that? Get sober. Get out. Get a job. Get my life ready. So I can be the best that I can be. And that is not going to happen in here, is it? And you owe me a flower bed. Now, I can't do that on my own, can I? But out there isn't made for people like me. Maybe. Not yet. <laughs>